Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's After Tips. Today we're going to take a look at how you can work with layers to create interesting looking and interactive flip charts. So here's a flip chart page that I made. It's a little busy. It has a lot of different layers on it. Let's take a look at what's actually on the page. I'm going to go grab my browsers over here on the left hand side. If you don't see your browsers, you're going to click on View and you're going to check Browsers. This first browser is your Page Browser, your Resource Browser, and we're going to take a look at this third one, your Object Browser. Your Object Browser has four layers, the top layer, the middle layer, the bottom layer, and the background. What's in the bottom layer right now is this image of the, of the trash truck. And I got this image right from Google Images, and I dragged it in and dropped it into my flip chart and then I locked it. To do that I clicked on the image and then I clicked on this little menu that pops up and I click lock. You can also do it right here in the object browser if you click on this pop-up menu that comes up to the right hand side. And you can click locked here. This means that now the background can't move so when a student comes up to interact with this flip chart they won't be moving that background image. The next layer you can see I added was some shapes and these are at the bottom of the middle layer. One thing I like to do is to take a very busy background and then add a semi-transparent white box over it so that the students aren't really distracted by what's happening in the picture. So I added a white rectangle and then I made it a little bit more transparent. So that's this slider right here and I can make it all the way transparent. That's what it would look like without the white box. So I added it in so that I could see what the background was but the background wasn't distracting me from the activity. Then I added text. If I, add, if I added the text first and the text was behind the shapes, it would be there but it would be below that shape. So I could click on the text and I could drag it up in the list closer to the top so that it was on top of that shape instead. Then you can see there's all these images. In your object browser, the um, orange and red icon means it's a shape, the T means it's a text, and this one that looks like a photograph means it's an image. So where are these images? They're actually hidden behind the boy who's on the top layer and this white square which is at the top of the middle layer. I added the white square because the image of the boy wasn't quite wide enough to fit all these things behind it. I locked both the boy and the white shape so that when a student comes up and clicks, they drag something out from behind the boy and decide if they want to put it in recycling or in garbage. And I set this up to be a container, which is a whole other lesson, but it gives you a reward sound if it belongs in the right category. So the computer. We could talk about it as a student standing up here. Can, can computers be recycled or do they need to go in the trash? And you could even make a third category for it is recyclable, but you have to follow specific rules to recycle it. If you click on something over here, it's highlighted over here. And this is a good way to keep track of what you put behind the board. The cake, not recyclable. Let's take a look at starting from scratch. If I want to insert a page after this, I can click on Insert, Page, Blank Page After Current. So now here I have nothing on the top layer, nothing on the middle layer, nothing on the bottom layer, and nothing in the background. If I go into my resource library, and they go into shared resources and I look at the backgrounds these are automatically going to be going into the background layer. So it still looks like there's nothing there. The background layer you can't really get anything out of. Once you put it in there you'd have to clear backgrounds. Let's say I want to add this fish to the ocean. I can So now if I look at the object browser, I can see that both of these fish are on the middle layer. If I start to add some annotations, the annotations are on the top layer. If I want to bring this fish on top of those annotations, I can drag it up to on top of the pen in the top layer. And now the fish is in front of the annotation. There's no way to make the background go in front of everything, and there's really no way to make the fish go behind the background. 
But layering is a really good concept to use, especially when you want to create a magic box to hide and reveal answers, like we did with the boy and the white square for the recycling, where you can hide things behind something and then pull them out. If the top image is locked, when you click, all you're going to be accessing is the images behind that. Thanks so much for watching today's active tip. Springboard Media has a wide range of professional development courses and workshops available for teachers with Promethean boards and with iPads. Check out our website for more information.